Hello everyone. My name is Gillian O'Grady Henry. I am a consultant psychiatrist working in perinatal mental health. Signs of mental health issues to look out for in someone who is pregnant or has recently had a baby includes feeling tearful for no reason, increasingly low mood and anxiety for more than two weeks feeling much more irritable or angry than usual, fluctuations in mood, constant worrying or feeling anxious. You might notice a racing pulse, um, breathlessness, increased sweating, which are all uh, symptoms of anxiety. Demotivation, not wanting to do anything. Poor self-care, yet being able to look after the baby and attend to all the baby's needs, feeling overwhelmed, feeling of inadequacy or incompetency as a mother, a loss of enjoyment or interest in anything, wanting to isolate yourself and not wanting to go out, as well as avoiding other people, including your friends and family. Difficulty bonding with the baby. Feeling hopeless as though things will not get better. Unable to sleep even when the baby is sleeping. You can also experience poor concentration and forgetfulness, which is often called baby brain. Constant worrying about baby's safety and fear of the baby dying, resulting in constant checking of the baby to be sure that the baby is breathing and is okay. Significant changes in your appetite can occur, which is eating more often for comfort or forgetting to eat. Negative intrusive thoughts about being a bad mother or something bad happening to the baby. Thoughts of not wanting to be here anymore and that the baby would be better off without you, leading to suicidal thoughts or thoughts of self-harm. In postpartum psychosis in particular, you may become increasingly confused or paranoid that something bad will happen. You can also develop erratic, strange behavior, as well as experiencing hallucinations and delusions, including odd beliefs about the baby and others. These can be indicators of perinatal mental health conditions, such as postnatal depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, and as I mentioned, postpartum psychosis. People with a history of pre-existing mental health problems, such as depression, anxiety, bipolar, or psychotic illness are at increased risk during this perinatal period, especially if you have stopped your usual medication while you are pregnant. Therefore, it is very important for you to get advice from your GP, midwife or health visitor or mental health team who normally look after you when pregnant or even thinking of having a baby. We also provide a preconception clinic where we can give advice about planning your pregnancy and looking at your medication. Fathers and partners should not be forgotten. Fathers and partners can also be affected during this perinatal period and can experience symptoms too. They are also under a lot of stress, especially when you are under stress. The best place to go for support is either your midwife, GP or health visitor. They will be able to support you and refer you to other services who can help. Often you can be given self-help advice, counseling or talking therapy, or if need be, more intensive support from a specialist service 
if needed, such as the service that I am part of, perinatal mental health service. Thank you for listening.